Okay, here comes my rant about bonsais. Um, I'm trying to educate myself more reading online, watching YouTube videos, and um, how-tos of how to water, how to prune, when to fertilize, all that stuff. And um, so I get all geared up and I think I can do this, I can do this, I'm getting ready to prune my juniper bonsai. And I start and I notice that I think it's got some type of mildew, a powdery white, ooh, look at this, I powdery white on the trunk and um, some of the needles act like they're like they're shriveling up maybe a little bit or like they're dying around the crown of where the white mildew looking stuff is on the trunk plus we I don't think we should go back there anymore because we might get ticks how overgrown it's become we've walked back there and it was bare and I look at all the foliage I don't think we should go walk through there, you'll get ticks, and I'll get ticks too. Um, so I notice it's got some type of, it looks like white mildew. So now I think great, it's going to be another one that's going to die. And you, re you read and you watch these videos, I just last night I watched some videos, a video, of a so-called bonsai expert who makes bonsai videos. And his video on watering, he had his little hose with his little spray attachment. And he was showing how you should water a bonsai. And he like watered the heck out of this little bonsai. Flooded the pot till it was running over the sides and out the bottom. And he says, you should really water your bonsai every day in the summer. And people have left comments underneath it saying he's watered too much or that's a lot of water and blah, blah, blah. If I water my bonsai every day, it dies from root rot because it gets waterlogged, it gets too wet, and then the, root, it, the roots rot, and, and they die. So this guy says you water every day. Well, you can't water every day because they get root rot and they die. I think it's more intelligent. Some people say this, and this is what I try to do. You monitor the soil. You touch it with your finger, and if it feels dry, and it needs water. If it's moist and it has some give to it, then it doesn't need water. Also, the color. If it's dark, you can tell that it's still wet. If it's light, probably means it's dry. There's also a method of having, like, some type of a stick or a chopstick, wooden stick, that you can insert into the soil and pull it out and see if the stick is wet because the surface can look dry but underneath can still be wet. I watch um, videos and I read about bonsai and it's funny because a lot of the experts say everybody kills a lot of trees at the beginning. So that makes me feel better but I still want to start being successful at this and it's very frustrating to, to try and, and get it into the groove of it. Knowing when to water, how much to water, what not to water. And then you have the experts, some's telling you to water every day, others saying don't water every day. Some say to mist regularly, and I have missed it a little bit, but now I'm thinking, if this juniper has some type of mildew, that means it's gotten too wet. And I haven't watered it every day, like the one expert says to do. I haven't even misted it every day, but I have misted it several days in succession. So I don't know. I'm going to have to Google if junipers can get mildew. And if so, what do you do? Do you apply a fungicide? Can you just apply any fungicide? Or is there a special fungicide for pines? Because I know sometimes you can't put things made for deciduous trees on pines and vice versa. Sometimes they take specific things. This gets very complicated. 
it's it's frustrating. I, I know bonsai is, is complicated. A lot of people try to do it and they fail and they give up. It's more common than people being successful at it, really. But I want to be successful, so I keep at it. But it just gets it's frustrating. You water every day, and they die. You don't water every day, and they die. <laughs> Things get mildew, and then you wonder what the hell you're supposed to do. You probably end up dying. Uh, with junipers, there's a lot of people that say you're supposed to pinch off the new growth with your fingers. Don't use scissors. Then there are other people that say use scissors. And then there are still other people say, who say, don't pinch your junipers at all. It's like, who do you follow? No matter what you try, they die. You try this method this time, it dies. So you try the next me the other method the next time, it dies. <laughs> it gets frustrating. I've heard about some type of... Uh, soil monitor that's supposed to monitor the moisture in the soil and one expert I read said you could get one of those until you get the hang of the particular plant and its moisture needs because different plants need different moisture too They're, you have to research the specific plant because some like to be drier than others some like more sun than others. It gets frustrating. Anyway, I just felt like ranting. Now I'm going to rant because these idiots, this stupid ass woman with her kid in a baby carriage, has already been around this trail because we saw her coming around the bend. So now she's coming up again behind me. I hate it when people walk behind me because Busby has to pay attention to them and he drags and so now I'm pissed off that this stupid ass woman thinks she has to go around the trail again but she already did it okay before I find something else to rant about I'm gonna say goodbye bye